So this is going to be Ivanka Trump and the January 6th panel. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, it's a big help. Please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, why wouldn't we ask about this? Uh, the January 6th panel, that letter, you need to download it and read it. It's amazing. It's it's like a story. And uh, for them to send, the, someone sent me that letter, I'd be scared to death, especially if I was guilty of what's in the letter. So anyway, let me tell you what I know uh, about that letter. It's just a little bit that I've got on. The it's, it's really kind of funny, but the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th uh, Capitol riot sent a letter. It's amazing. You can download it to Ivanka Trump uh, requesting her cooperation uh, in the investigation. And um, we write to request your voluntary cooperation with our investigation on a range of critical topics the chair wrote in a letter to the former president's daughter. I bet she wishes she was his former daughter. But um, you've got to see uh, what they wrote in this letter. Here's um, for instance, as the committee already knows, Ivanka did not speak at the January 6th rally as she publicly stated that day at 3.15 p.m. Any security breach or disrespect to our law enforcement is unacceptable. The violence must stop immediately. Peace be peaceful, the spokesman said. That was Ivanka Trump's spoke spokesman saying, look, we said this, okay? So this is one of my all-time favorite uh, decks. So this is the Smith Waite uh, Tarot Deck, the Centennial Edition. And um, there's two boxes here, and I'll explain what happened. Is uh, when I was ordering uh, uh, this uh, deck, um, I think I, I think it was Amazon. I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, it wasn't clear that that one of the things I was ordering was just a deck of cards, and the other thing I was ordering was a commemorative set. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about them separately. So the cards themselves are terrific. So these are, as you may have heard me say, if you've watched some of my videos and watched me use these cards, uh, these cards are the um, supposed to be the uh, most true to the original artwork of Pamela Coleman Smith. This is her initial, Pamela Coleman Smith. Uh, th these are the closest to her original artwork or interpretation that she and um, and uh, uh, Wait uh, came to agreements on for the way the, they would be depicted. Before I turn these over, I'm going to tell you. So one of the things I love about cards is when you, there's something special you can use the cards for, a special way you can identify with the cards that's only secret to you. Maybe I shouldn't like that, but I do like that. For instance, uh, these cards, you can tell from the back of these cards whether they are upright or whether they are inverted before you flip them over. And here's how. In this uh, little um, uh, flourish here, uh, it's almost a rose and a rose. It reminds me a little bit of the Tudor rose, but it's, it's not quite that. But uh, if you are looking at this card, the back of this card, and you see this little leaf is, is sort of pointing in front of this signature, then you know that this card, when you flip it over, is going to be upright. However, if you see that the leaf is pointing behind the signature, you know that this card is going to be inverted. So see, a quick glance, it's not very obvious to you. But once you look at it for a minute and you know that secret, now you know what's going to happen when you turn this card over. So let's use an example. This one is pointing um, before the signature. So we can see that this card is in the upright position. This one is pointing after the signature, and you can see that it's in the inverted position. So, so there you go. Now, the cards themselves are great. I mean, I love the coloring of the cards. They've got kind of a, a grayish, um, a brownish gray overtone, almost a misty, kind of a London fog kind of a feel to the overall. It's like someone painted the cards and then went back and did a treatment on them to make them look kind of, so I'm not, I don't know if that's how Pamela Coleman Smith uh, created the art. I haven't seen her original art for this, obviously. Um, I'm sure some people have, but, um, but that's what's great about these cards. It kind of gives them a built-in patina. It's not real, you know, it's fake, but it still makes them nice and mystical. And so uh, that's what's interesting about these cards. 
Now, the uh, at first I was disappointed that I had ordered two um, sets of the same cards, but then um, I understood that it was a good thing, and I'll show you why that is. Okay, so now this is the commemorative set of the Pamela Coleman Smith uh, artist of the Rider Waite Tarot deck, uh, featuring the Smith Waite Tarot Centennial Edition deck, which is this. So uh, it comes in this amazing, amazing container. I mean, I can't even really call it a box. It's, it's like a beautiful showcasing a lifetime of artwork by Cam Pamela Coleman Smith. And um, so it's really cool. And wait till you see how it works. So you open this treasure chest up, and you've got this beautiful uh, finish here, and you've got wonderful little tabs where you can pull back the uh, the covers and see what's inside. And what is inside is a, a pack of the cards. Uh, and in truth, what's happened is um, these were the cards that were wrapped up inside this box, and uh, these cards uh, came in that box. But um, I got this first, and so I wanted to use the cards, so I opened it up, and oh, look at that, and I don't like that. This has to be tucked down in there, so there's a couple things that aren't perfect. But uh, so I took the cards out of here, opened them up, started using them, and then the other cards came, and I realized, oh, well, I can make this a complete set if I put these in here. What's in here? Of course, you have the cards, and uh, then you have a nice little bag uh, to keep them in, if, uh, if that's how you're going to keep your cards, and so many people do. But uh, I've just chosen to try to leave these cards in kind of a pristine condition. And then on this side is where all the treasure happens. The first thing you have is this booklet, The Artwork and Times of Pamela Coleman Smith, Artist of the Tarot, Tarot of the Rider Waite Tarot Deck by Stuart R. Kaplan and Lynn uh, Arjo, I suppose. So this is who wrote this book. In this book, it tells you all about, uh, you know, not all about, but it's, 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 it's a very good information about Pamela Coleman Smith. It's a lot of her art that's not related to tarot and explanations of how that art came to be. I mean, this is just a fascinating book, and I love it. I love it a lot. So there's that. The next thing that was in here, are, these are actually postcards. Okay, so these are postcards, and all of these are the art of Pamela Coleman Smith. So, uh, and then this book talks about these postcards and why they come to be, and they all have a very interesting uh, story. So, which I won't go into now, but if you think you'd like to know, you should order these cards. So, very interesting uh, stuff here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next thing you're going to get is you get some uh, larger pieces that uh, this is Pamela Coleman Smith, who I understand like to be called Pixie uh, as a nickname, and she's a lovely person. This um, is uh, someone that she knew, a, a stage uh, actress at the time, and um, and there's even a little uh, message down here. The the name of this person is Mistress Page, and then you are a you are Mary, so am I. Ha ha, uh, Ellen Terry. So uh, I'm not sure now, but the the book explains all of this to you. Then you get, uh, this is an example of just some black and white work she done for, for, I don't know what, it doesn't tell you on here, but it does tell you in the book. And then this is some more examples of what she might have done for playbills or uh, other ways. You know, artists have to make a living, so they use their talent of making art to uh, sell and, and do other things. So love, love, love everything that came with this. And um, amazing. Now, the final thing, and I've, I've lost a little uh, ribbon, but also this uh, has a ribbon here that, that helps you pull everything out, which is so smart and so good. I don't know who thought of it first, but it's a great uh, use of that. And then you have here the actual uh, pictorial key to the tarot. So some of you may have seen me using uh, this book, which is the pictorial key to the tarot by weight. And uh, so this is just another uh, representation of that, but just in a different book. And it all comes in here. The one thing that you're missing here, I don't think the cards are in this book. No, the pictures of the cards uh, aren't in here, but it's terrific. Everything else is true to that first book. Uh, this one, however, which I bought separate from an uh, online bookstore, uh, does have uh, depictions of the cards in it, as you can see. So that's very useful to use that all the time. So very handy to have. And then finally, like so many of these uh, decks, this gives you some uh, examples of some spreads you can use and how you might read them. And so everything, everything, everything about this um, this package uh, is exactly um, the best that you'd want to get in a, in a, in a gift. I've got, this is the one little misgiving here. Maybe I'll, I'll work on that later. But um, so nice. So that's been the tour of these cards. 
and I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, so this is all about Ivanka. I've got four questions here, and uh, it's all around what happened in the Oval Office on January 6th. What did she see? But let's take just a minute for a couple of seconds for meditation. So four questions, three of these will be three card pulls, and the last one will be probably a dyadic cross. It could be a full Celtic cross. We'll see how it goes with the uh, first six cards. But the first question is going to be, so there are questions about conversations she witnessed or participated in uh, around the president's plan to impede uh, counting electoral votes. Did she participate in those conversations about how to impede electronic votes? Did Ivanka participate? in the conversations around how to impede uh, counting electoral votes, not electronic votes, electoral votes. Did Ivanka, Ivanka Trump um, participate in the, the conversations around how to impede these electoral votes? Interesting. Three cards. So, one, two, three. Did Ivanka Trump participate in these conversations about how to impede electoral votes. Wow. Yep. Wow. Okay. Small celebrations. She participated, okay? Um, it was a short conversation. And um, th they felt like that with this four of wands, which are uh, plans and celebrations, um, that yeah, they had a little something to go on. So yeah, there was lights shown on the on the subject. She did participate. Um, it was a short conversation. This death card is you know an end, and uh, but that it did uh, bring about some small uh, celebrations towards that end. Wow. So yep, she did. And they would be asking her that if they didn't already know that she had. Do you know uh, about President Trump's? So let's see. Did you know that President Trump's White House counsel concluded the actions he directed Vice President Pence to take to violate the Constitution were illegal? Did you discuss those issues? Oh, wow. So did she discuss uh, the issues uh, around um, the actions Trump wanted Pence to take uh, that would violate the Constitution? Um, and knowing that they were illegal, did she participate in those discussions knowing that the counsel says that's illegal? Three cards. One, two, three. Wow. She could just be a font of information. First card. She participate. Oof. Yeah. Truth, justice, rules, and law. We're having them f feeling uh, bound up. Truth, justice, rules, law. That's what swords are. Eight of swords being bound up by that. Trapped by that. Oof. Judgment. Did she p participate in that? Yeah. Last card. Oh, again. Celebrations. So they felt like they, so the, uh, what he wanted Pence to do, the council said it was illegal. So they knew that. All right. And, uh, but did she discuss those ideas? Yeah, they discussed them. Uh, and they felt bound up by the truth, justice, rules, and law. Uh, council, uh, let them know what they thought about it. They gave their judgment. And, uh, but they still thought they had some s plans, some small celebrations around that issue that they could get it done. Wow. Wow. Okay, number three. Regarding the legal requirements on White House personnel to not destroy, but to in fact give National Archives any work-related messages from personal devices, has she destroyed any? So, regarding legal requirements on White House personnel not to destroy, but in fact to give up National Archives, uh, you know, give to the National Archives any work-related messages from personal devices, has she destroyed any? Three cards. One, two, three. Okay. She destroyed um, what should have gone to the National Arch Archives, any information from her personal devices. Well, yep. <laughs> so this is the Three of Pentacles. This is putting something together for public display. And we can see that this is a very dark issue. 
So this was in collaboration with others. And there are three people here. Did she destroy information that should have gone to the archives? King of Cups. So King of Compassion. Interesting. Not sure how to interpret that. The last card. Oof. Yeah. So, did she destroy information that should have gone to the National Archives for her personal devices? Yeah, there was collaboration among, uh, I'm going to say, literally three people about that. Um, the King of Cups, the King of Cups, you know, the Cups are compassion, emotion, uh, and the King is, um, is, oh, so she was, this was, she was destroying this to protect her dad. And then, uh, but the tower card says, yeah, that wasn't the right thing to do. You're going to get caught. Wow. And trust me, if they're asking that question, they know the answer already. And then the last question, were you personally aware before January 6th of the president's intention to secure the presidency with lies if necessary? So Ivanka Trump, we'll do this with six cards and see if it merits doing another four. So... Was Ivanka Trump personally aware before January 6th of her dad's intention to secure the presidency with lies, if necessary? Six cards to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Was she aware of her dad's plan to secure the presidency with lies if he had to? First card. Oof, yeah. There was argument about it. There was a lot of discussion around that. The five of uh, uh, wands is uh, pointless arguing and uh, you know a conflict of plans. That's the signifier. The challenge to that then, ooh, strength. The challenge to that is strength. And this is what and this seems like a good card. But what happens is Donald Trump's modus operandi is to lie and lie and lie and hold on to that lie to the very end. Okay, the basis of this, ugh, okay, is this was going nowhere ever. The oh, decisions to be made, two of swords, yeah, truth, justice, yeah, those are decisions that need to be made. And in the sky, of this with this Queen of Cups, okay, the cups are uh, compassion, emotion. This Queen of Cups is a significant uh, offer of that compassion. I don't know how this figures into this reading, so we'll just leave it right there for now. But that's very interesting. And then the final outcome. Uh, justice. Yeah, we don't have to go more than six cards. This is it. Justice will prevail. Justice will prevail. So yeah, she was part of all of that. The uh, trying to put together a plan, uh, hold tight to uh, no matter. Don't give up whatever you're going to do. But it was always destined to fail. They had a choice to go truth and justice. And um, for some reason, this Queen of Cups is offering some sort of a, an offer of compassion. The cup is closed. But yeah, uh, the likely outcome is that justice will prevail. Man, that is fascinating. So Ivanka Trump and the January 6th committee, how in the world is she going to survive this and reinvent herself? It's going to be fascinating to watch it. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.